Hello, I'm Jeffrey, and once again, we're here at Habibi's Home Medical and Habibi's Durable Medical. Today, we're going to be talking about something that's actually pretty exciting to me, walking boots. Now, in the past, we've shown you some other equipment. We've shown you things like crutches, walkers, rollators. And you know, when you look at all these things, they're all pretty much the same, no matter who you get them from out there. They all have very similar characteristics. They all have very similar ways that they're put together, held together things like that. But in this case, we have something that is quite unique. We have walking boots. We have both high walking boots, as you see up top, and low walking boots. Now, depending upon what type of injury you have is depending on which particular boot your physician is going to prescribe for you. If it's a lower foot issue or just a low ankle, it might be the smaller low boot. If it's something higher up that requires more immobilization of your calf, it might be the tall boot. Now, as I was saying, the thing that really kind of excites me about this particular boot that's really nice is a couple of things. Number one, more than any other boot on the market, I don't know if you can see this, it's got a curved surface all the way around. What this is, is this allows the patient or the wearer of the boot to have a more natural gait as they walk along. And thus, it takes a lot of pressure off those injured areas of your foot. The second thing that this has, which is also incredibly nice, it has a shock absorbing heel. This heel absorbs more shock than any other walking boot on the market. This is why I like having this. Because as it absorbs that shock for your patient as they're walking along, that means that there's less shock transferring into the foot where the damaged area is. And therefore, there's less pain and also less uh, risk of re-injuring that particular area. Last but not least, you may remember this if you're older like I am from the 80s and early 90s, the Reebok pump. These also have a pump on them. You pump the big one for to fill it up, has a little plus on it, and then you pump the small or push the small button to let the pressure out. Now you've probably seen these on other walking boots, but the thing about our walking boot from Ovation is this boot has more pumpable surface area than any boot on the market. And what that means is you're gonna get a better, more secure fit that's gonna uh, spread pressure of the weight of your body and as you step across a greater area, greater square inch area of your feet, which reduces the risk of more damage to your feet. So I'm gonna show you right now how to put this thing on. And it's, it's very simple, but it's like putting on a shoe. But there's a couple of steps. So I just wanted to go over it really quickly. As you can see, most walking boots have a rigid outside frame. This is to immobilize the area and keep it from uh, flexing. All right, probably wondering why I came out here with only socks on, right? So, they come with extra padding in here in case you need to stuff it down in an area. So we will take and we will open up. I call this the sock. <laughs> Quite simply, we'll put our foot in here, thusly. Close it up with the wonderful Velcro that's on there, like so. Open the boot. Place your foot inside and slide your heel all the way to the back. And then take the Velcro straps, running them through each of the various strap holders. Now, when I do this, what I like to do is I like to lean my foot all the way back, take that, starting with the middle uh, strap so that you're secure there, then come with the upper, and then come with the lower. You're good to go. Now, as you can see with the curve on the foot, it allows you 
to take a natural step. These are available on our website. There is a sizing chart available that will tell you exactly what size and structure you need. We hope to hear from you at GoHHM. I hope you'll subscribe to our channel for more informative content like this about the walking boot. And also, please put in the comments if there's an item or a piece of medical equipment that you'd like to see put together, put to the test, used, or know how to qualify for it. Thank you again for tuning in. This has been a TNG digital production. Thank you.